Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be talking about cam sensors. So if you have that code P0340 and you really don't know what to do, you already changed out your cam sensor, today we're going to actually go through it and I'm going to show you how to fix it up. Alright, so this customer complaint that he has right here, he has the code P0340 and that's the camshaft position sensor circuit A bank one or single uh, signal circuit so essentially what he did he went on Google found out this code searched it up and he just went ahead and bought an aftermarket uh, cam sensor and switched it out so that didn't fix up the issue because he uh, cleared, the, uh, cleared the code drove for a while code came right back on so right now what we're going to do, we're going to go inside, we're, we're going to see what this code actually means and we're going, to, uh, we're going to figure out exactly what to do from there. So let's go to the computer and let's see what this code means. And this is another symptom that the car was having as well. It was an elongated crank time so it would take a while for it to turn on and then finally turned on. So that P0340 code and the long crank time. So let's get to it. Let's see exactly what else we can find out. All right, so what shows right here, so it says for PO340, and what gets the code to, to turn on, it says the cylinder number signal is not sent to the ECM for the first few seconds during engine cranking. Uh, so basically it's just stating that this sensor is not sending the signal. And the signal that we're basically looking for is that we're looking for a wave signal. So as you can see, that's the cam position, bank one, and that's the waveform that we're looking for. And because this is a Hall Effect uh, sensor, we're gonna have three wires, and those three wires are gonna be, is gonna be a positive a signal wire and a ground wire. So right now what we're going to do, we're actually going to back probe that sensor. We're going to back probe to see if we have voltage on the positive side. We're going to see if we have ground by hooking up the positive lead of the multimeter to positive battery. And then we're going to hook up the uh, ground cable to the sensor ground to verify that we actually have a ground there. And then the last test is we're going to see if we have a wave signal. So. Once we have those verifications, if we do find out that we do have uh, powers and grounds, then we just know that there's a good chance that the sensor is shorted out inside. So let's get to uh, the engine compartment and I'm going to show you where the sensor resides. The information that I was getting from the computer, it was saying it was on bank one on the rear side of the head. So because this engine we got is a, is a V uh, configuration there has there's gonna be a bank one and bank two but to find out where bank one is is at, that's where cylinder number one is at so the little trick I use to find out cylinder number one I find out which side of the of the head the actual uh, ignition coil is closest to the front and as you can see the ignition coil on this side is right here real close to this part and the ignition coil for the other side is kinda of back here so that's going to give me a direction that we're going to be on this side. Another easy thing you can do is just go online, Google where bank one is at. And the sensor is actually going to be back here, right there. Right there. And I don't know if you can see the wires. We're going to have a red wire on one side. That's going to be the positive side from the battery. And then we have the one in the middle that's going to be the signal and then the last uh, black one that's going to be ground so right now what I'm going to do I'm going to get my T-pin I'm going to back, back probe the, the back and we're going to check for voltage first so let me back probe this alright and what we're going to do hook up Our alligator clip and then the negative side to ground 
Hook this up there. Now we have our multimeter. Our graphing meter right here. As you can see, it's a zero volts, but once we turn the key to the on position, that's when we're actually going to see that we have voltage. So, here it goes. Key's going to go on the on position. As you can see, it jumped up to 12.6. So, the 12.6 that lets us know that the uh, power side is good. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the ground side. So, we're going to hook up the black lead to the ground side and then the the uh the positive lead we're gonna hook it up to positive battery we're gonna take this off right here and our new ground is actually gonna be down there so we're gonna move the pin from the positive one to the negative side and then we're going to take this one off so this is the positive side so we're going to hook that up there and then our negative alligator clip we're going to hook it up and down here and that's just going to show us that the ground wire going to the sensor is good so with this one we don't have to turn the key to the on position we just got to see if we have 12 volts as you can see we have 12 volts so there you go, we eliminated that the wiring might be an issue for the power side and the ground side. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get our power lead, our positive lead, and we're going to hook it up to the signal wire. Now we're going to see if we have the square wave. So. Remove this and move our T pin. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put our T pin on the signal side, get our positive lead, and then hook it up there. And our negative lead, we're going to hook it up to ground. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to crank the engine and see if we have the square wave. As you can see, it doesn't have a square wave. So that can give us two scenarios. We have uh, a shorted uh, ground signal or we just have a bad cam sensor. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that the, the owner, he actually put a aftermarket cam sensor, a real cheap one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a factory OEM Nissan one, the Wall Infinity as well. And we're gonna put that on and we're gonna retest it. All right, so we have our brand new cam sensor right here. Got the Hitachi brand. Uh, but there's quite a difference right here, as you can see. Not the same. But when I went over there, they basically said this is the new design. Uh, superseded this old design. So this is the new one that's going to go in. And then after that, we're going to test out the signal and we're gonna see if it's working. So essentially what this cam sensor does in the back of an engine you're gonna have where the cam is at and there's gonna be a uh, say a little sprocket in the back with teeth and what this is this is basically a magnet so the representation is when you have the sprocket in the back they have gaps like I'm gonna show you in my in my hand that have gaps when this magnet runs through a solid surface we do not have no battery voltage but as soon as we get an air gap that's when the voltage goes up I explain that to you now let's put this on there and let's test it out and let's see how it goes
All right, so we have everything connected now. Brand new sensors in there. So remember, ground wire is gonna be hooked, hooked up to ground, good source of ground, and then the positive is gonna be to the signal wire. All right, so this is gonna be the moment of truth right here. That's a good signal right there, because back then we didn't even get that as soon as I turned the key to the on position. There you go. So you can actually see the square wave right there. See, there's the more defined square wave right there. So there you go. It was just a bad cam sensor. So that's what happens when you put some cheap cam sensors on there. They don't end up they don't end up working. So if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out here from Miles Mechanics. Y'all take it uh, y'all take care, man. Have a nice day. Goodbye.